each day when you wake up in this field, you feel a certain calling to, to go at your task. You don't think of it as a job. You think of it as uh, finding uh, something of a mission to go back to and to relate to. Uh, yes, you need to have the best training and intellect and skills that possibly bring to, this, to the issues, but when you get to work and you get to see the people, many of the times uh, the most forlorn or forgotten or neglected and discriminated against that our society can possibly do, but you work with them and you bring them and you find that underneath all of this are human beings wanting to become better, to regain their spirit, to take back their lives, and in the end even give back things to you in the form of gratitude and wellness. This is the beauty of working in this field. It's not just a science, it's an art. You're still a healer and you have to face all of the challenges that, that this field brings to, to it with both the illness that's presented, the misunderstanding of the illness that's around it, and the opportunity to offer and bring people into recovery daily with the gratitude that comes with doing that kind of good healing work. There are many ways to enter this field. Uh, we need all of the workforce that we have working in it. It's really an interdisciplinary workforce when you think about it. We need researchers, we need physicians, we um, need psychologists, social workers, nurses. Uh, these are the backbone of, of what bring a, a treatment and recovery to an individual. Most of all, we need the addiction counselors. Uh, this is a group of people that uh, really because of their interests, their passions, and their knowledge want to relate uh, day by day with the people that are uh, trying to find recovery and trying to understand uh, these drugs have control over their life. Many paths uh, can be made available to come into the field. Uh, if you are interested in being an addiction counselor, which I certainly would hope, uh, you, you can do it from your experience. If you're in recovery and now with several years of, of recovery time want to come back in the field, high re regard for your experience and knowledge. And we can get the training to you and the skills necessary so that you can become a professional in this workforce. Uh, if you are already uh, further along in your education, perhaps a college degree or master's, you're welcome in this field because this is a field in which you have to learn by doing. You can't really learn to work with this illness in a classroom. You have to apply yourself. So coming into the field with that background is perfectly welcome. Perhaps you're a second career person, somebody who's recently retired and saying, now what can I really do with my life that uh, has meaning and purpose? I've flown airplanes or I've worked in a company for so long and now I want to really help people. What better place to come than in this world, in this field, uh, where you can learn every day from work you do and feel every day some gratitude for the work that you do. Re really, are, you're needed and wanted in this field with the professional degrees and, and experience that will be afforded to you as you go along. Uh, all of us in an interdisciplinary workforce bring together for the first time the one science, the one field, and the one vision that's going to bring recovery to this country, to the, the communities, and the families, and the individuals in it as we remove the drugs from our life.